hey guys welcome back to harrison family farm be sure to like subscribe and, sh and share <laughs> if i could talk this morning uh yeah just wanted to welcome you guys back i am trying to finish up some fencing that i previously shared with you guys that i was working on and so um, to the point where i'm just putting on the gates well i've actually already got one good gate hung uh, i'm about to hang this other gate and in addition to that run some hot wire uh, I think I'm gonna run it at like 36 inches and then I'm gonna run another lower one. Mm, I'm not sure, a foot or below. But yeah, I will kind of give you guys a glimpse. Excuse me as I get this situated of what I got so far. So this is the gate here that I'm about to hang. Uh, before I can hang it, I gotta move my solar charger up so it can hang on this post here. And I'm also gonna brace this post with some wire and uh, much like I've done other H braces or much like I've done this one see this wire I'm gonna brace it just so this gate it's got some weight to it doesn't drag it down or make it sway this way I want to be able to keep it good and plumb but uh yeah the gate's too large actually as well for this opening and so that's going to be all right uh this gate was actually on this property um from a previous owner I assume but I'm just going to put it to to use um so yeah i just saw it and decided to go take it up down from where it was at and yeah but this is the area here you can see i just used barbed wire and then you can see here my uh insulators for the hot wire that i haven't ran yet i haven't added the lower level ones yet uh, but i plan to do that today as well and i might even um i don't know if i'll let both of the cows in here today but i'll probably definitely do a test run with at least beyonce in here but everything else is in place and up the wires ran i even got some um, what they call fence stays that people commonly use with barbed wire fence and essentially what it does is make all of this move together and tightens it up and adds some shrimp to it so i got those in there as well you know animals try to get their head under that last wire and get under it or lift it up and get grass on the other side and that fence stay uh, help keep it tight so they won't be able to do that um but yeah, I'll probably still take some of these, like this here tree out of here uh, at some point. But uh, I just wanted to give them a bigger area. This is, again, not permitted either, but a bigger area than what they've been in. Uh, just for several reasons, you know, with them being in such a small area, it's hard for grass to grow. So that piece of property can't be productive. Uh, and then it's just not good for them. That's, you know, high infestation and other things uh, fester and grow. They need room. And so this should be enough to get them through uh, the winter. And actually, they won't be grazing because we get we ha really have winter here. <laughs> so I'll be buying hay. And so this shall suffice. Uh, and those of you that may have heard me mention before, uh, as soon as spring kicks back up, I'll finish fencing in that area over there to include everything that's on the other side of this fence. And that uh, there's that big tree I mentioned before to encompass it as well. See if I can get a better shot of it. That tree, that big tree there, did a focus. But yeah, I, I just thought that would be a really cool shade tree for the, the cows or anything else that we decide to have out here. Um, be a good source of shade, they can hang out. You can see Big Boy or Jay, he's down there laying down now. And you know, I thought that'd be a cool spot for them to hang out. But yeah, I'm going to get into it, get this gate hung, get my hot wire in, and uh, test my fence out, essentially. Uh, stay tuned. Of the yesterday hanging the other gate down there so 
in lieu of that, I'm going to go ahead and start running my hot wire. And for the time being, I actually think I'm just gonna run the top one. Like I said, I already got my insulators in. Um, I think I'm gonna forego this first one, um, at least for the time being, because like I mentioned, the gates is larger than I originally, uh, originally intended for. <clears throat> and so one of the key things is gonna be is how I'm gonna connect it to the existing gate. And I think I'm gonna do that back here at this gate. And this is the gate I said I hung yesterday and used all my hardware on. I thought I had a few more of those lag uh, little J or L shaped things, but I don't. Anyway, I think I'm gonna tap it right in here. I'm um, going use like a handle hook uh, for you guys that might be familiar with them to get it to come across here. I don't plan to use this back gate a whole lot, but I didn't want to cut myself off uh, entry access. Um, and then, yeah, I'm probably at some point going to get rid of this tree so that gate can fully open. Uh, it doesn't do a whole lot as far as shade. Um, yeah. So. And then, yeah, so I think. That's what I'm gonna do, tap it right there. You can see uh, those insulators there. I don't know if you can see the wire might be thin. I know <clears throat> people talk about a different, a lot of different type of wires. I'm not all that experienced with all of them. I just use, what is this, Superpower, I guess is what it's called. Um, I hear a lot of people talk about like poly wire and poly blend wire. Um, I haven't used any of those. I've just been using this regular naked wire. I don't know how many gauges it is. It is fairly small, you know, but I've been using that. It seems to keep the cows off, uh, and I definitely <laughs> felt the jolt from it. Um, so, so far, so good. If you guys have any suggestions or if you know anything better, you can try, uh, you know, leave comments below. Definitely uh, open to hearing that. Yeah. yeah, share your experience, share your advice. Uh, you know, I can learn from it, others. Leave the comments can learn from that so. actually already ran the electrical wire it's actually on now I got this tester uh, yeah aims and instruments uh, just got it at, like Harbor Freight for a few bucks and just want to see so it is I don't know if you guys can hear it beeping but it is on and um, it doesn't test output, it just lets you know if it's hot or not. So, I'm trying to think. I guess without further ado, I will let them in. And we'll be from here.
guys. So, uh, just want to update you real quick. Um, Jay is on the other side, but uh, Beyonce still hasn't went over there. It's now like past six o'clock in the after, in the evening. So they've had access over there for several hours now. But it just speaks to the psychological barrier that hot wire fence uh, creates. And, you know, she'll get used to it. She'll go over there at some point. But, you know, her timidness to go over there is actually, I'm okay with it because it means that fence is working and that they're not trying to mess with it. So that's good, actually, in my eyes. But she'll get over there eventually. She'll get curious enough and go over there. Yep, just wanted to share that with you and kind of sign off. I, I didn't really close out earlier. Kind of a all around the place today, and then now it's about getting ready to rain. So I figured I'd hop on here real quick. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you subscribe to Harrison Family Forum and uh, be sure to hit the notification bell so you get all our updates and uh, are notified anytime we post. Hey guys, welcome back. Harrison Family Forum. Uh, just want to do a very quick update. So today is the next day since I uh, enclosed that additional pen I made and put the cows in. And uh, that was nerve wracking for me because it, it, you know, I've, I've been in situations in the past where I've uh, attempted to to fence and house animals. Like I said, this is not my first go, uh, and it didn't always work out. That you know pins or fencing that I put out was sufficient to keep them. It was a learning process. Um, but I am happy and excited to report that this morning, uh, not only are they still in there, but as you see, Beyonce has made her way over there too. And so, yeah, just very happy, very excited. Uh, been wanting to do this for them for a while to get them out of that confined pen. And, uh, you know, it's not much green over here they can eat, but you, as you can see, they're they're going after what they can or what they do like. And so, uh, yeah, uh, just excited and 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 happy. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. And I'll even get you a little closer before I close out. Well, hey y'all, good morning. I had like a little fire going there yesterday, but. Uh, but yeah, everybody's home. Everything's good. Oops, sorry. And so, yeah, that's all. Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> sorry I'm not using a real camera. I just wanted to do a quick little update before I got out of here today from doing my chores or whatnot. Um, it's been two days since I let the calves out into their pen. And just a few things. I know in that last video I said I was hesitant. Or not hesitant, or just that I wasn't initially going to put that lower line of hot wire around the bottom. Well, I've since installed that, that lower line. And um, the reason for that was uh, Jay, the bull, he was kind of testing that, that lower barbed wire strand. Well, not testing it. He was trying to get to some grass that, and some greenery on the other side. And so I didn't really like him uh, messing with it. Um, you know, he get an inch, he'll be trying to get a foot, then a mile. And, yeah, so I end up running that, that lower hot wire but also I wanted to give an update on um, like I said I think it's been two days since I put them in here and even the little bit of stuff that was in this pen like I said it wasn't a whole lot but it was just random brush and kind of re-sprouting of trees that I had cut down but uh, yeah here it is now like I said it's been two days and uh, it's completely like empty now but the cool thing is, there's Jay there. I just threw some leaves I had, well, some little stems or whatever I had cut uh, over there. But all the manure that they're left is the really cool part. I should have recorded this while I was in there, but I thought about it, then I changed my mind. But if you can see, there's several, several uh, cow pies on the ground. And the reason I'm excited about that is because that's just fertile. Uh, fertilizer fertilization and you know of course also they're urinating on the grass and uh, or on the the land and that's going to help with bringing grass and forage back um, so yeah also I did get that other camera I ended up setting it up back here it's probably just going to be temporary 
but just wanted to see what I could see. Um, it's back there on that fence post. It's the white that you see right there. Um, but yeah, just want to see what I can see from that angle. Might end up moving it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you that I end up run, running that lower hot line, hot wire, as you can see, there's an the insulator there. Um, and that just how the, the land looks after two days. Um, yeah, not not many a leaf left. There's a few here and there that they pick it. And of course, they still have access to that uh, round bay. I mean, not round bay, round bell that I always keep in that pen, which they go freely in and out of. Um, so yeah, they still have that. And actually, I'll probably be putting another bill out here probably tomorrow. I almost wanted to do it tonight, but I figured they'll make it through the evening with what they got left. But uh, that's it. Just wanted to share those things with you guys. Um, yeah, there's some happy campers. I'm a happy camper. Everybody's good. Catch you next time.